weight loss people and YouTubers. I hope everybody's fine this uh, lovely day. So I am just over three weeks post-op, three weeks and two days post-op. Got a little bit confused last week. It was two weeks post-op, but yeah, back on track now. So three weeks post-op. Um, stats first. So my high weight was 88 kilos. My op day weight was 85.9 kilos. Current weight, 79.8 kilos. So um, since last week, it's only 200 gram loss which is quite disappointing. I've been hovering around this for the last two weeks, this 80 kilo mark. Um, and it's really frustrating. I know that, you know, I've still lost a bit of weight, but, you know, um, it's it's just frustrating for two weeks not to see it go down. The first week I lost like six kilos in a week and then um, the second week, pfft, it's just, yeah, it's just nothing. It's just hovering, hovering, hovering. Really frustrating. So I was trying to figure out this week um, what I could do to change that. Um, I'm looking, like, going using my calories um, on my fitness pal, tracking everything every day, and I'm not even, like, meeting 900 calories. So how I can be staying the same weight, I have no idea. Um, stepped up a bit of um, my exercise so I'm walking a little bit I can't do too much at the moment but I'm walking and um, trying to do a bit more every day just to um, to bring that up so I'm doing between 15 20 minutes walking a day which hopefully I'll be able to do a little bit more um, soon but that's that, that's what I've been doing um, still really didn't move that much but it did move a little bit when I did that um, so then I thought well maybe um, the last couple of days I've been thinking it must be constipation or something because I haven't had very many bowel movements I know that you're not supposed to have as many or as much especially um, in the early stages but I thought there might be something wrong so started um, not that I'm a big coffee drinker but started drinking my coffee um well, well one a coffee a day or something um that didn't really help um so yesterday i remembered that when i left the hospital they gave me a whole bunch of tablets but one of the ones that they gave me was um i guess it's a laxative it's for constipation anyway um so i started taking those last night today i have been on the toilet so much it's ridiculous so I think maybe there was a little bit left, um, a little bit uh, sitting in there waiting to come out. So I'm hoping tomorrow I'm going to see um, a nice loss on the scales and hopefully if I keep that up it's going to continue to drop. So um, it's really frustrating when before the operation I was losing faster than after the operation. <laughs> Um, so hopefully this will have the desired effect. Um, so what have we been doing this week? So on mushy food still. Um, so it's not that exciting. Um, been trying a few different things. Um, I was a little bit worried about trying dairy because I know some people um, don't do dairy very well afterwards. But my nutritionist told me to have a really good quality yogurt like um, Chobani uh, because there's not a lot of additives and stuff like that in it and I'm able to tolerate that it's um, yeah it's it's yummy and I don't have a bad reaction um, the only thing that I was having trouble with this week really was egg um, it would sit really really heavy just like two teaspoons would sit really really heavy and any more than that was just um, yeah it was causing me to almost to vomit so I knew that I didn't want to eat any more of that so I, I haven't had eggs since then um, but I will continue to keep trying because I really like egg um, maybe when I get to soft foods I can try it a different way other than scrambled um, and see if that works what else um, yeah so I made some soups I made some mashed veggies um, smoothies. Oh, I went to um, 
boost today and had a mango mango magic smoothie with a shot of protein in it and I asked the the shot of protein that they have is 15 grams of protein um and their smoothies are awesome so 15 grams is really really good because that really topped up some protein um because I I got about halfway through my drink this morning that I made my smoothie and I just could not drink any more of it so um the one from boost was excellent and i will continue to have those hopefully tomorrow i'm going to try porridge uh, i'm going to try putting my um uh, i got isopure uh, unflavored online i got that on special um and so i'm going to try that in the porridge tomorrow and see how that goes um yeah and but really really looking forward to getting onto soft foods because I, I think I'm getting more bored with um, mushy foods than I was with liquids. It's, um, yeah, so I've got my appointment with a nutritionist next Tuesday, so today's Friday, in three-day time, and I will be able to then um, have soft foods from then on. So that's a bit more variety into my diet. I'm really looking forward to eating meat. I have not craved meat so much. Uh, I guess that I must be, it was because you know, obviously you're lacking in lots of things when you're restricting your diet this way. Um, but, you know, I mean, I'm practically daydreaming about eating meat. <laughs> so, and um, and fish and yeah, just can't wait, can't wait. Um, so I'm really looking forward to being able to, to change up and, and have some more foods in my diet. Um, my blender My blender broke, so it's been really hard to um yeah to uh, i need to buy a new one uh and they're going on sale next week at aldi one of my favorite stores so i will be there um to get to get a new one um i don't think much else is really happening at the moment oh the the thing that i'm finding really weird is just getting used to eating such a small amount of food it is so bizarre um because when you really like the flavor of it and normally you know you love the flavor so you just eat heaps of it until you couldn't eat anymore and that would be quite a bit before surgery um now i have three teaspoons and i have to take a break and then i'll have another teaspoon i take a break and it takes me like half an hour to eat half a cup of food because my stomach won't hold at all at the same time um so yeah around about half Oh, sometimes 20 minutes but at least half an hour I'm trying the hard thing is that because it's all warmed up I've got a um you know it goes cold by the time you get to the end and yeah I mean I can warm it up I guess again but um hey cold mashed potato isn't as bad as it sounds um <laughs> still mashed potato um but yeah it's cold soup not so much so that's pretty much um yeah, just trying to get used to that. And I know that that's going to happen for me. So it is, it's, it is, um, I know that this is going to be the way for quite a while now. Um, this half cup of food. And it is really hard to get used to because, um, even though I'm not feeling hungry between meals or anything like that, I, um, you know, I love food. So when something tastes really nice, I want to eat more of it which is how I put the weight on in the first place, um, obviously. But um, hopefully I'll get used to it and things will change and my relationship with food hopefully will change as well. Well, wait and see, wait and see. So um, I hope that everybody's doing really well. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and um ask me any questions you want i'm happy to answer them hope that you're all having a wonderful journey and take care and i'll see you in week four bye